In the last video, we saw how batching works and how effective it is in improving the performance of the application. We did not cover texture batching last time. In this video, we'll first see what is texture atlasing, how to create it, and how to retrieve a particular texture from atlas. Texture atlasing is a technique used to reduce the number of texture lookups and draw calls required to render a scene. It involves combining multiple textures in a single larger texture called an atlas, which can be applied to an object in a single draw call. When we don't use batching and are drawing all the meshes separately, we are creating all the textures and then binding the individual textures for each mesh. After batching, all the meshes are combined. So we should not bind separate textures anymore. Texture atlasing can help us in combining those textures and we can bind the combined texture for the combined mesh. There is an issue that will arise in this case though. If we bind the textures without making any changes, the meshes will look something like this. How did this happen? To explain this, let me pick this quad and the atlas side by side. Now let us see the text quads to understand how the texture is mapping on the quad. As we can clearly see, the whole atlas is being mapped on the quad. This is not something we would usually want. Instead, if we want this texture to map on this quad, we'll have to pick the right texture coordinates, which in this case would be this. Let's focus on the atlas to understand how these texture coordinates were calculated. This is a 4K atlas. So we can mark the edges as this. Before we move to the texture chord calculation part, let me highlight the dimensions of all the textures again. Considering the texture arrangement here, the denormalized texture coordinates to map this texture should be these. Now to get our desired normalized texture coordinates, we just need to divide the denormalized ones with the atlas width and height like this. If we replace the texture coordinates of the chord with the calculated normalized texture coordinates, the mapping would look like this. Now let's see how is texture atlas created in OpenGL and how can we extract the texture coordinates for mapping each texture. Over here, I am generating, binding and applying filters for the texture atlas. The atlas size as shown in the explanation before is also set to 4K. Over here, I'm using this add texture to atlas function to add each texture's information to the atlas. Add texture to atlas function takes the area or rect of the texture to be placed in the atlas, the texel data of that texture, the size of the atlas, and then pushes the texel data of the texture to atlas data. Now, if we set the generated atlas to the quad, it appears like this. To alter the text chords now, I'm creating these normalized text chords following the same calculation that we saw earlier in the video to map the required texture from the atlas. 
I also have this override text chords function to replace the old text chords with the new ones. The output after we override the text chords appears like this. In the next video, we'll see how we can handle texture atlasing to add textures to atlas automatically and how we can use it to complete the texture batching for the old scene which was shown in the batching video. Thanks for watching this video. I'll be seeing you in the next one.